In Investing 101 today, how to deal with the emotional side of investing. Here's Steve Buxton. In Investing 101, we're going to get a little bit touchy-feely and talk about your mind and how it can be friend or foe when it comes to your portfolio. Very glad to have back Chris Everett. Chris heads up Everett Well Solutions in suburban Chicago. Chris, good to see you. Hello, Steve. What is going on with our minds when it comes to our portfolio? Because we can really shoot ourselves in the foot, right? Absolutely. You know, sometimes if investors are constantly gunning for the fences, it can really put them in a trick bag. You know, often if you're gunning all the time and you crave that, it's because you really don't know what return you want. Mm or what you need. You might know what you want, but you might not know what you need. So instead, if you were to determine what your goals are first, see what your contribution is gonna be, then step back and see what kind of rate of return you really need. You may find you need far less than what you think you're gunning for. You were telling me about a client that was always a gunner. Always. Came to you and you said, hey, you only need 6% to make what you need to have to retire. Big difference. Exactly, you know, I said, look, Everything you're doing is gunning really hard. He goes, yeah, but I'm smarter than the average bear, pun intended. But when we looked at what he really needed, he needed about 6%. His wife grinned from ear to ear. <laughs> he exhaled really deeply and he realized, wow, why am I working so hard? Even though I showed him the drawdown and how deeply his portfolio could correct, that didn't get him. It was when he saw the number that he really needed made all the difference in the world for him. Our mind can get in the way. You as a financial advisor, what are your top jobs? Ah, my top job is to be your CLO. CLO. Your chief listening officer. And <laughs> I don't mean... It's a new acronym. <laughs> just hearing what you say. I want to really hear what you're saying. Uh. If I get to know you well enough, I can then become your TTO, oh your truth-telling officer. Your truth-telling officer isn't afraid to tell you the truth. They really get to know you well and can make all the difference what in the world. What if they don't want to hear it? Well, you know, you really need to hire a fiduciary that you get to know, like, and trust. they the same for you, and they can really make you aware of some of the common knowledge traps that exist out there. Because often, if all you're doing is going after what the media is telling you, and I'm not putting the media down, it's just one piece of the component. You need to get a broad perspective about what you really need. Good stuff. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.